In this video, we're going to have a shaverage and an unboxing. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, let's get into it, starting with the Shaverage, which I have down here, because it's a two liter bottle. And this one is Squirt. This one is an old school drink. It's been a long time since I've had this one. It says since 1938. So this one is quite old. If I recall, it's a citrusy sort of uh, soda, and I have it poured here in a glass with some rocks. Here's to you. I hope you all are having an awesome day today so far. Oh yeah. Nice citrusy vibe to that. Uh, lemon lime sort of thing. A little bit uh, tart. Very nice. Uh, today I'm going to show you one of my favorite knives that I got for Christmas. Uh, this one is just a pleasure to use. This is the Finch Holiday knife and it's holiday because it's based somehow on doc holiday and this one is such a pleasant flipper look how easy that thing flips like i don't know i just really dig that super easy fl to flip it's got a warncliffe type blade on it should be great for unboxing it's very handsome in my opinion and that is a christmas gift that i really appreciated getting this year i love knives as you know and that one just hits the spot so today we're going to unbox an order i made with the razor company and the finch should make short work of that. And oh yeah, that sort of hawk bill on that knife that's sort of customary of Warncliffe type blades. Very, very nice to unbox things with, in my opinion. And let's set that aside. It is very sharp. And see what we ordered from the Razor Company? I don't remember. It hasn't been that long. I just don't remember, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, so the, the first soap that we have here is looks like a crown and crane soap and uh, let's go ahead and open her up and I've been taking care to well I just, as I tear this I've sort of been taking care to try to keep these intact because I use them when I travel um, so the soaps won't get all beat up and crown and crane this one is musique nuit or something like that I'm probably saying that wrong you know I'm unprofessional here musique nuit or something like that let me know coach me up below if I'm saying that Wrong, as you know, I don't do any research uh, before these unboxings. These are just real um, organic sort of reactions, and that's the way I want to keep the, the unboxings. When I use this later, I'll give you all the notes and everything like that. And so I have had really good luck with Crown and Crane. I'm like 12 of 12 or 13 of 13 in enjoying the scent. So let's give this a whiff. <sighs> Another nice one. This one is very unoffending. I do not know what I'm getting from this. The scent is just a little bit light. Now this package is still a little bit cold because it came from outside and it's like 20 or 30 degrees. It is definitely a very pleasant fragrance. It's light, um, sort of clean, crisp uh, to my nose. I think this could well be another winner. And the great thing about some of these scents, if they happen to come a little bit light, I got the HCNC oils so I could sort of jazz them up if need be. But generally, I have loved Crown and Crane, and I think I'm going to like this one when lathered and when I get more of the individual notes to come out. So let's see what else we have here. Uh, oh, I think um, Jason from the Razor Company sent me a sample of MDC, one of their soaps, and we'll try that uh, later. I told him I'd never smelled that particular one, so he was kind enough to send it. So thank you, Jason, for sending that with my order. I really appreciate it. And the next soap we have is also Crown and Crane. I love Crown and Crane. Great price, great unoffending scents, at least to my nose. Great quality for what you're paying, in my opinion. And this one, I believe, if I remember, is called Cavalier. Cavalier. And there is the label on that one. And these Crown and Crane soaps are sealed, but there is a sort of preparation if you can get to it there. Sometimes my fingernails are have a little tough time getting to that perforation but we'll get to it eventually uh, if I don't tear up the label in the process <laughs> that one I was so aggressive trying to get it off I started to pull the label up a little but that's on me not on crown and crane anyway uh, this one is cavalier and I cannot recall what the notes are on this whatsoever so let's give it a whiff now oh, that's a nice scent right there <sighs> this one to me reminds me of a nice cologne 
I don't know what the individual notes are, and that's often the case when I smell a soap blind. But I can tell you right now, it smells good, and that's the main thing. This one will assuredly be a hit for me. This is Cavalier by Crown and Crane. And I think, honestly, I think the hits from Crown and Crane are continuing. This one smells familiar to my nose as if it maybe it's a inspired scent of a clone that I've smelled before. It smells very nice and deep. The other one smells great too, maybe a little bit light. And let's see what else we ordered. And Okay, now I remember what I ordered. This one is uh, Hales from Canada, and I'll show you just in a moment. I know all the Canadians now on the edge of their seat. What did he get from Canada? Oh, Canada. And this one is, uh, this one is actually a collaboration. This one is McDuff's Soap Company, which is out of Can Canada, and the Razor Company. This one is Cream Soda. I love Cream Soda. I love the scent of Cream Soda, and uh, I thought this might be a nice one. To try so I picked it up from the razor company and let's give this one a whiff oh yeah and that that one is very nice too very nice indeed this one looks a little different the last McDuff's that I got uh, it was super super soft this one isn't as soft uh, it almost looks like it's hardened up a little bit um, the last one was like almost goopy and I wasn't a real big fan of it to be honest but this one um, doesn't appear to be coming off on my fingers got a great scent. It's what you would expect from cream soda. There's some nice sweetness in there. This one smells fantastic. I think I'm going to look forward to, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to enjoy using this. I'm looking forward to it already. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to look forward to it. I am looking forward to it. <laughs> oh, I'm babbling. Oh, it smells great. It smells great. It smells great. I'm in a good mood today because we got some nice stuff. We have you here with me. I'm hoping that 2022 is just going to be a great year. So join me in being positive. Join us, uh, by the way, on the Shave Talk Facebook group. And let's talk shaving. Let's lift each other up. Let's be positive. Now, that doesn't mean, I, I always like to caveat this, that doesn't mean we have to love every product. Because believe me, when I don't like a product, I'm going to say to, I'm going to say so. It's my obligation to you. But we can be positive while doing so, and we can lift each other up and make this a very, very awesome place. So thank you again for joining me. I think I'm going to have three hits here, to be honest. So that makes me very happy, and I hope it makes you happy too. Let me know below, have you gotten anything new recently in terms of soaps? What are the favorite soaps that, that you've gotten recently? I would love to know that. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host. Your host. Yeah, that's what, that's what I am. I'm the host. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm unprofessional. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.